Welcome, I'm Eric, call sign N1JUR, and today we have got another five ham radio apps for iOS. And if you're a new ham, or maybe you're ham curious, then you're gonna wanna make sure you stick around and check this out. So let's get into it. N1JU Amateur Radio, uh, in this episode, like I mentioned, we are going to dive into another round of five iOS ham radio apps. Uh, but this time I'm going to gear it towards, you know, maybe you're a new ham uh, or you're ham curious and you're interested in getting into the hobby and you're looking for, you know, what apps can help you kind of understand uh, what you're reading and, and testing for uh, as you're working towards your technician test. So. This first two apps I'm gonna kind of cover are around uh, testing and uh, getting your uh, technician license. So let's head on over to uh, the phone there and uh, check this out. And so I've got uh, the first app up here and just let me kind of set the stage up front. I wanna say I am not an affiliate of any of these apps. So all of these opinions are of my own, uh, but both of these uh, study apps are really great tools to getting you into the hobby and uh, being able to learn and understand the information you're gonna be testing for as you set forward to get your technician test. So this first one I have is uh, hamstudy.org. Uh, they have all of the tests and the software itself is really um, a tool that I used when I uh, used uh, to upgrade uh, to my general and extra. But at the same time, um, I have had family members and friends all use this tool and they love it. Um, it is, it's a great resource and it supports a bigger uh, initiative uh, in, in promoting the ham radio hobby. Um, it is free out front, but you know, as you kind of go through the, the elements in the test, um, it's very beneficial because you can, uh, as you select the choices there, it'll walk you through an interactive setup there uh, and give you uh, a really real-time feedback of um, how you're performing in the application. And it's as simple as just setting yourself up with a new account with them. Um, and you can track your progress and it's multi-platform so you can go between desktop, your phone and tablet and keep all of your data synced uh, between uh, all of those platforms um, so your progress continues uh, as you continue to, uh, to learn more. Um, there is a uh, feature in here that you can explain and this is all contributed by the community uh, in regards to the, the testing questions so you can actually get an understanding of why um, that was the correct answer. And you can uh, go into the tool and you know pick uh, different uh, study uh, options. So if you're into cramming and you're, you're trying to get all the information in really quickly for the you know the next uh, technician exam you got scheduled, you can do that. Um, you can also uh, go through each of the individual questions and, and tailor it to uh, you know your liking and the app itself. All right, and that is uh, hamstudy.org. So the other uh, application that I recommend to folks uh, is uh, Ham Radio Prep. It's again, uh, very much uh, similar to uh, the same uh, capabilities and functionality that uh, Ham Study offers. Uh, both of them uh, provide all the tracking and metrics um, and Ham Radio uh, Prep also offers additional kind of video links and other resources in their tools. So um, again, both uh, offer basically the same path to being able to get your technician license. So uh, whatever your preference is, uh, you'll have all the same materials and study uh, course um, information uh, all up to date and uh, know you're studying for the right question pool uh, when you go to take your test. And so those are my two recommendations for uh, ham study apps. Um, so let's continue on and uh, look at some of other apps that uh, aren't so study like. So let's uh, jump off the study bandwagon here and we're gonna dive into a couple of apps that I think are going to help a lot of you new technicians out there or someone who's just got their license and may not know where to go. These uh, apps are really just kind of reference uh, apps in my mind, as I think once you kind of get into the hobby for you know a little while, you're going to probably outgrow them. Uh, but again, all these are free that I'm going through here. You know, fear not, you can definitely use them to your advantage uh, and being able to kind of get up to speed once you get past getting your technician license. So this first app uh, is called uh, Ham um, Waves, and this does a very, very good job, in my opinion, uh, that uh, organizing and categorizing data and nomenclatures and you know, kind of just traditional 
tools and, and, and formulas and all that stuff into a very good, easy to find, well uh, laid out uh, application. It's not really much more than a reference application, but uh, as we kind of go through here, you can see that the, the authors built um, a lot of good little um, textual links to, uh, you know, things like, you know, talking about how to use the app or, you know, a quick introduction to uh, ham radio uh, and uh, all of the things that you could uh, do within the hobby. Um, they offer, you know, other additional um, resources and getting your call sign, how to go through that process. And it's all clickable uh, links to be able to get to the systems that you need to get to. Uh, and then once you've finally gotten your license, you can uh, dive into, you know, things like casual operation which, you know, hey, how do you strike up a conversation with uh, someone on a repeater? This is a, a great resource uh, to show you, you know, with a couple of suggestions and tips. So the casual operation gives you the capabilities to uh, go through uh, several uh, modes, uh, you know, how to set up uh, or how to connect to nets or run uh, or be part of nets uh, and what those uh, look like and all of the you know, terminology around that. Um, you know, it gives you some great reference materials on how to exercise uh, your ham radio muscles to be able to, you know, call CQ, participating in nets and, and so forth and so on. So it's a really good resource there. Um, it also goes into uh, some of the gear too as well. So if we go over the gear page, you know, what type of um, programs and modes that are out there. So like Poda and Soda uh, talks about, you know, uh, in, uh, you know, how to deal with base a station and mobile radios. Um, and power output and stuff like that. So the author's done a really, really great, you know, design of the application, and at the same time provided some really, really good resources uh, at your fingertips uh, if you're a new ham and you're trying to kind of navigate all of the, the you know, the things you might want to do or do in the hobby. Um, this app will help you kind of guide through that process. So that's uh, Ham Waves. Uh, again, it's a free app. You can download that right off the iOS App Store. Um, and get that uh, into your uh, you know smartphone there and, and start learning a little bit more as to, uh, once you get over that hump. So this next app is called uh, Ham I Am, and uh, it has nothing to do with green eggs and ham or spam or Dr. Seuss, but it is uh, you know a very simple, again, reference app, similar to, to uh, Ham Waves as I, uh, the other previous app I just went over. Um, but it kind of you know pretty much gives you in a quick, concise uh, delivery, things that you you might see or come and uh, uh, encounter when you're listening to your uh, VHF UHF radio on a local repeater, um, or maybe you're listening to the HF uh, you know bands and you're trying to figure out some of the ham jargon that might come up. Um, there is a great uh, reference in here, um, and it looks pretty well. Uh, um, updated there so like if you wanted to find out you know what what the heck is a choke filter well you can go into the details of that and find out uh, you know that uh, that little device uh, that's what it does um, it's written kind of just pretty much in the standard um, context so you might actually have to do a little bit more research uh, as uh, if you have no prior uh, say electronics background or um, you know anything in the uh, radio uh, RF space, um, some of the terminology still may throw you a little bit of a curve. But, you know, things like uh, the alphabet, uh, phonetic alphabet, where you might have to learn that for your technician test. Well, now you can kind of use it uh, and have it at your fingertips. So when you're, you know, basically trying to give your call sign to someone and you're stumbling upon uh, letters, uh, this is a great reference for that. You know, things like, uh, you know, how do, how do you deal with weather spotting, uh, um, you know, definitions, terminology, all of these things that we use um, from time to time in the hobby, uh, you can reference here pretty quickly. And again, it's really just a simple, easy app. It's free, so you can have it there and available to you as you're starting out. Um, but I guarantee you probably as you get more into the hobby, you're going to outgrow this. Uh, maybe you want to pass it on to the next new ham that you might see. And that is, um, you know, ham I am. All right, this next app is um, an app for all of my CW friends out there. Um, this is a great tool that I uh, picked up off the store uh, that is free again. Uh, it's for uh, learning how to understand Morse code and, um, you know, getting into CW if that's part of the hobby or an, an area of interest that uh, kind of excites you. Um, as we all know, uh, that uh, 
that component was removed from uh, the testing uh, portions of uh, all licensing. So it's not a barrier anymore if you struggled with it. But if you have the desire, and I myself, I'm slowly adding it to my to-dos uh, as I continue uh, in this hobby, that uh, I, I, from time to time, as I'm kind of sitting around and, and, and buying time, I usually hop over this app. It's a, it's a great little tool. Um, you can easily go into it. Um, you can set your, you know, custom levels, the, you know, speed. You can play at different levels. You can really start at level one. Um, and as you hear um, in the audio, um, it is pretty interactive. So it starts you out. You can just start here. And so as you hear the letters, you just tap the one, which one do you think? And as you start to kind of uh, develop memory or muscle memory, you'll see that the little indicator down at the bottom by the letter um, is... Uh, growing and as you kind of keep listening for you know the cw uh you know uh as a did or a da you can uh you know keep going and as you make an error or mistake it resets you so you just keep learning over and over again so if i just keep tapping that as the more you get it correct the, the closer you get with the letter and it keeps just building upon that process so you can uh you know do it uh you know very simply to start out um or you can tailor this in a way that if you're trying to build up you know what you've already learned um, this tool will allow you to do that too and it's a fun app uh, it is free and allows you to kind of get in there and be interactive without having to just um, slog through you know number of lessons or a certain um, process to to learning morse code so uh, i i recommend uh you know morse mania it's a great uh great uh, app to have and, and and allows you to kind of learn morse code as you, you you do on your own page all right and the last and final app uh, for uh, today's uh, five iOS apps for ham radio uh, is uh, a little bit off the beaten path. Um, again, uh, tailored more towards uh, someone who might be just getting into the hobby. Well, maybe you haven't uh, realized that there are a number of great scanner applications uh, that are out there that uh, you know you can run from your iOS. So maybe you uh, had, uh, you know, as a kid for me, I, I remember growing up, my um, aunt used to always have a scanner, a Bearcat scanner with a outside antenna, uh, always scanning the police and fire bands to find out what was going on. Well, um, the tools uh, that we have now available to us uh, in the uh, stores uh, are uh, available at our fingertips. So now we can uh, download uh, you know, scanner apps. This one is called Police Scanner, and it is a very uh, good, well-developed app and I uh, highly recommend it. I use it um, primarily because it actually has a, um, a component or an app that runs on, on my um, um, uh, iOS uh, auto app. So I can, from my uh, touch screen in my truck, I can fire this app up and listen to say the police or fire or my all-star node. And it has a very, very large database uh, for at least in my area in the New England area. Um, like we can easily just pull up um, you know, a list of events that might have occurred. So you can tune into anywhere across the United, United States or nation or wherever it is of uh, most of the active, we'll say, scanners. Um, and these are all uh, community contributed scanners um, and other people that have set up uh, specific uh, permanent stations to uh, listen to the airways for that. Uh, you can also set a nice, um, you know, favorites list. I have my all star node here uh, in that list so I can listen to. Uh, any of the all-star, um, you know, nodes that I'm connected to, as well as anybody who's connecting uh, into mine. And I can, you know, pull up the fire and police and uh, all of the other locations and simply just, you know, engage the uh, software. And it, it, you know, it's pretty interactive. It's fun to, to listen to. And as, uh, you know, uh, I'm running this in the background, I can see, uh, in, or I should say here, anything that might be going on. In this case, uh, we're listening to Nashua Fire Department here. And so uh, that's all playing through my uh, smartphone and, and I didn't have to you know, spend any more time except uh, installing the app. So that is um, you know, a police scanner and all of these links uh, for all of these apps will be down in the description. So hopefully uh, you know, if you're uh, watching this up to this point, you uh, have uh, you know, gained some additional uh, you know, uh, interest and, and um, tools that will help you move further into uh, the ham radio hobby and as always make sure uh if you haven't already to, to subscribe uh, like and share uh as i'm always putting content out and uh, love to uh hear if you've got any comments if maybe there are other apps i haven't uh, reviewed uh, that uh, you'd recommend uh you can definitely put those down in the comments below and i am working uh, again for all of those android uh, folks uh, that have watched up to this point 
I am working on an Android, uh, you know, list. I just uh, don't have a lot of Android devices uh, in uh, my possession. So uh, working towards that, but uh, fear not. So with that, thanks again for watching.